Leo, I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for February 2015. This month I laid out the Rainbow Tarot spread for you and pulled an additional card from Doring Virtues, Healing with the Angels, Oracle Cards. Before I start your reading today, I'd like to address something here. I've received many emails, uh, private emails and messages on Facebook and comments on the comment boards stating that many people are finding that their rising sign videos and their moon sign videos are making a lot of sense to them and resonating with them. So if you're ever watching your sun sign video one month and you think this doesn't really jive with what's going on in my life, I encourage you to check out and view your rising sign video and or your moon sign video. And I would have never thought that at the beginning when I first started putting these videos on YouTube. I had no knowledge of that until I just received all these messages stating this from the viewers. Now, if you do not know your rising sign, which is also called your ascendant, or your moon sign, you can find this out for free by typing in your browser free natal chart or free birth chart. There are at least three websites I know of that you will be able to go to and get this information. Once you go to those sites, you will have to enter in the birth day, you know, the month and the day that you were born, your birth date, you have to enter in the city you were born in, and you need to know your birth time for you to get a map of where all the planets were at the time that you were born. Once you get this information, you can print it out, and then not only to watch my videos here, you can go to all the astrology videos posted here on YouTube and watch your rising sign videos because for many people, their rising signs often make more sense to them than their sun sign, not just my videos, but even in astrology. So I just wanted to state that there. So Leo, to get on with your reading, the first card you have today is the hanged man. And the Hanged Man to me is a card that symbolizes hanging and in limbo. This means you cannot move forward, you cannot move backward, you're just in a limbo phase. And at that time, you have to draw very strongly from your psychic ability and your intuition when you're in that state. I feel that teaching things and learning things have become somewhat of a chore for you and that you're ready to do something with all of that that's been going on. I also feel there's a great deal of love coming your way. Fondness and love is coming at you. For those of you that do work with the public, I feel that you have more love and appreciation coming to you from the masses. I feel for many of you, Leah, you will be starting your own business or your own company or enterprise in some way, or you will be put at the forefront of whatever business or company you work for. Like you will become the spokesperson, the leader, the um, front man, so to speak. If that's not you, then I feel like you will be starting your own enterprise or your own business. And I feel that a lot of happiness is going to be abounding for you, that you're not going to be feeling so stuck um, or like feelings of being stuck in the are like a thing of the past or are starting to be over now for you. For some of you, you will be uh, getting an insurance claim for some of you. And for some of you, you will be leasing a new property. These are not necessarily the same people. It's coming up to me as those two messages. Some of you are going to be leasing a new property, and some of you are going to be getting insurance money. And remember, as I always say, Leo, this is a general reading, and the only way to get a reading specifically for you is to have a private reading. This is general. So 
it will not apply to all of you. I also feel that for some of you, you are going to be talking to a former owner of a business that you work for or a former boss, because I'm hearing former owner or boss. And I feel this is a male. Uh, it could be a female, but it comes up to me that he is male and that you will be deriving a lot of important information from him that will be useful for you. Like it's something that you can do something with. Like it's almost like pointing you in a new direction. It's like an inspiration, an idea. A light bulb's going to go off in your head. It's a direction or a path to travel on, to get new business or to gather something that will be helpful for you. If it's not through business, maybe he's going to point you in a direction of a home for sale or an apartment to rent or a business to invest in or a stock to buy. It doesn't matter, but an old boss is going to come to you. You are going to run into or you'll get a phone call or you'll meet up with him again. And there will be very important, useful information coming to you from this boss, old boss, uh, and he probably he may have been even the owner of the business where you know him from. Now, in the next position you have in this reading, you have the Queen of Rods. This could be you if you are a female Leo watching this video. Um, but this could be just be somebody in your life that's not you. Um, it's a fire sign female. This would be a Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries. That could be their sun sign, their rising sign, or their moon sign. Regardless of who you are here, you are going to be entangled with this person. There's going to be a great deal of respect, camaraderie, and chumminess between you and this person. I feel for some of you, you're going to have the sensation of what took you so long to get here and to arrive. So for some of you, uh, regardless of your sexual orientation, uh, for some of you, she is a romantic partner. For some of you, she is a friend and a, going to be like a comrade in arms, a, you know, a great companion, a great friend. So for some of you, she's romantic. For some of you, she's like, you know, somebody that could be like your best friend. There's going to be a joint effort that comes up here between the two of you. I feel that some of you, uh, for some of you, you may be putting a program together with her. Now, a program could be a TV program. It could be a YouTube uh, video. It could be a program at work that you're starting a new program. It could be at your church. It could be at a business. Um, it could be even a computer program, like starting a new computer program. But the word you and this woman starting a program together is the words that I'm hearing. I feel this woman has had trouble with paying her bills. I feel that in her past, she's become delinquent in some of her bill paying, like maybe she didn't pay her mortgage or some of her bills on time. I don't feel that's what's going on with her now. I feel that that has happened with her in the recent past. And the message that the reason this message is coming up is probably to signify to you who she is. So you will like, go, oh, okay, I know who this is because you're going to know that this woman had a problem and was delinquent in paying in some of her bills. It's more or less a message for you to make sense of who this is. She is going to be talking to you about wanting to drive something forward to get this project and program going, to push it forward, to make it happen, to see it come into fruition and turn into an event or something happening to make it happen. I feel that you may be lingering over details with her and dithering a little bit about what to do. Not everything is going to come easily here and be like some of it I see. Yeah, like you got everything all firing in all cylinders, but there's going to be some angles of it, like to get it off the ground, to promote it or to make it happen is going to be there's going to be question about that. So if she's a romantic partner for you, for some reason, there's some stumbling blocks. You're not really sure how to make this gel fully to come forward and move forward. 
if she's a business partner and you're working on a project together, there, that whatever it is to launch it or to get it out and going, that's where the stumbling blocks lie. Not in everything that leads up to it, just that part of it. There's something very inspirational about her. She wants you to strive to bigger and better and higher heights, like strive more, do more, be more. She's very inspirational and motivational. She does have a lot of drive to succeed and drive toward you as well. And making this, whatever this is, between the two of you, to succeed and get off the ground and get going. She's a very vibrant soul and has a lot of energy. She's somebody that has the ability to take like a pile of mud and turn it into gold. Like that's what I'm seeing. Like her ideas are gold. Her, she's, uh, this is a great person to know. She's very helpful, inspirational. She's kind. She's loving. She's sincere. She's truthful. She's honest. This is a fantastic person to know and have in your corner and in your life. You will be generating a lot of buzz with her so uh, and, and notoriety out in the public. So you will get recognized, whatever you're doing with her, whether it's business, a project, a production, uh, a romance, it's going to be big news and people are going to be talking about it. Not in a negative way. It's going to be received well. So know that. Um, now, crowning your reading today, oh my, how funny, because this has come up before for one of the other signs uh, I just recently did a reading for, but not in this position, you have the Four of Rods. And the Four of Rods, to me, symbolizes a wedding. This is either you getting married or somebody you care about getting married, you throwing a wedding for a child, it could be that, you attending a wedding, you getting married yourself, or this can be also success you gaining success here i feel some of you leos have a great distrust anymore about marriage whether you're married or single it doesn't matter i'm just getting that that's a sense many of you have i feel some of you leos uh, that are single are going to be preparing yourself for the right partner to come in or the right partner has come in and you're beautifying yourself. You're uh, tailoring yourself up like with clothes, redoing your hair, redoing your outfits, getting new clothes, getting rid of old clothes, doing a makeover, losing weight, changing things about your appearance. I feel like some of you are doing it because you've already met the person that you're supposed to be with and some of you are doing it because you're getting ready for that person to come in to you <coughs> just depends on which leo you are the month of may really gives you a big blessings of love and romance in your life you will be captivating to someone and capturing their attention doesn't matter whether you're male or female either way you're captivating somebody's attention out there leo and I get you feeling like, what took you so long to arrive? I do feel like you're going to be like, well, that took you forever to show up. But finally, you're here. Thank God. There's going to be a great deal of love and chemistry going back and forth between the two of you. So this message, first and foremost, comes up for single Leos because I do feel like this is indicating, even though it's a marriage card, I feel like it's a love partnership coming in. And the month of May is the May that's highlighted here. But whatever, man, you are going to be gossiped about and talked about, and this relationship is going to be gabbed about. Remember, that sort of came up even with this card, too, with the uh, Queen of Rods. It's coming up again. It doesn't mean it's in a bad sense, but it is going to be talked about. The two of you are going to be talked about, for sure. I feel married Leos are going to be embarking on travel. And for some of you, you will be solidifying your relationship by renewing your vows or doing something to like cement or solidify your relationship in some way. That comes up for married Leos with this card. If you're a single Leo, 
that person is arriving and you have been waiting for them to come or you've just recently met them uh, very recently. It's, it's either it's just happened or May, I feel, is the most significant time if you haven't met them yet. Wow. You're going to be really lingering and languishing in love. And I get sexual chemistry really high between the two of you. And I feel like you're going to really do a lot of things <laughs> uh, that are like um, celebrating romance. Let's say like, uh, you know, going to those, uh, I'm sure they're in every state. Here in New Jersey, we have a couple. Uh, they're like places where you go and maybe they have, it's all about romantic uh, hotel spot, like, you know, where they have heart-shaped tubs or heart-shaped beds or, you know, you, uh, you fill in the blanks here. You know, like I'm getting you going to places like that, like what I'm going to call honeymoon suite types of places. Um, I really see you guys treating each other like royalty. Um, and I'm seeing you... Do things like, you know, eating strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries or strawberries dipped in champagne, sipping champagne, really like it's all anything that would involve romance. Like, you know, I'm seeing red roses. I'm seeing, you know, expensive restaurants with violins playing or romantic atmosphere and candlelight. And so for some of you Leos, you're really embarking on a romance or will be uh, getting involved in a very uh, interesting romantic relationship. Some of you, it may even take place and some of this romantic stuff may even be happening now in the month of February. Just depends on which Leo you are. You've either recently met this person and February, you're enjoying all these romantic getaway types of activities. Or if you haven't met them yet, I feel like they will. you will be meeting them in May. Now, in this position, in the next position in your reading, you have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is a card to me that symbolizes charity this is like you giving money freely over to someone charitably and joyously or you receiving money now receiving money it's not necessarily going to be somebody giving you like charity it could also be coming through a loan banking institutions uh it could be somebody giving you money in your family. It's uh, So it can go either way with this card. You giving the money or you receiving the money. I do feel there's a great deal of abundance and prosperity flowing to you now. If it hasn't happened yet, I feel like it will be occurring in this year. I know this is not a yearly re reading, but I do feel like expect it to improve at any point. I feel many of you Leos are going to be graduating, that's the word they are using, graduating up and leaving an apartment or a space that you're renting or leasing and moving to something that maybe you own or just a bigger abode. I feel like your, your home is going to change in some way and somehow I feel like it's going to be bigger. Either you are moving from an apartment to a home or the home that you have, you're moving from that home to a bigger home, or you could even be expanding your home, like doing renovations to it and making an addition or adding a dormer uh, or raise, you know, doing something, building an addition out or making your kitchen bigger or adding more living space. Uh, it's that I'm hearing like your living space and graduating is connected and it's getting bigger in some way. I feel many of you Leos have gone through some real struggling uh, for the last five to seven years or last five to seven months because those, the numbers five and seven are coming up here. So for some Leos, it's been as long as five to seven years. For some Leos, it's been five to seven months. And I feel that there's some of you Leos that have lost someone that you cared about dearly through a, a passing, through them dying, but this has already happened. It's not something that's coming. It has occurred. And I feel like that loss, that passing, 
has been part of this struggle that you've been going through. Uh, it's been part of the, you know, angst and upset for the past five to seven months or five to seven years. It's been a contributing factor. So some of you may have even received some money through an estate or an inheritance here because this is a money card, but they are mentioning that uh, loss uh, for you and struggling. And I feel that many of you Leos are determined to make something of yourselves and move yourself up in the ranks of what you are doing. I'm not saying you don't, some of you already probably have a fantastic position, but either way, I get that motivation in you. So you've already had the motivation and that's what you've been doing or you're getting motivated right now and that's what your energy you're starting to travel through. Either way, if you've already been doing it or you are starting to doing it, to starting to do it now, you will be elevating yourself up and moving up in the ranks in your job, in your career, in your public profile, in your persona, in how people see you, um, and also in your financial standing and in your home and what how you're living um, and in your clothing and what kind of shoes you were buying, shoes you buy and clothes you wear. Everything is getting elevated and moving up in the ranks here for you. Now, in the position that's your final card in the tarot spread part, you have, I'm sorry, Leo, don't be mad. I just, I can't help what comes up. You have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, to me, is a card that symbolizes grief. This can be grieving a loss of a relationship. It can be grieving a loss of someone that's passed away. It can be just sadness, feeling sad, depressed, loneliness. This can also come up if you're not physically feeling well. Sometimes this card shows up when there is an illness, too. So let me hear why. You need to take a step back and stand your ground and be firm. Do not get snowed over or bulldozed over by anybody. Do not give any money back or anything over to anyone that comes knocking on your door and is trying to take something back from you that they feel you owe them. So if you've had a divorce or some kind of settlement and you've got some money through somebody passing away or through a divorce or through a court uh, dealing like a lawsuit, whatever it is, and you've got somebody that shows up on your door, knocking on your door, trying to get money from you for something, do not give it over to them. Stand your ground firmly. Do not get bulldozed over by words of somebody coming at you with angry words or manipulative words. Shut the door and seek a lawyer if you need to, or just shut the door. Uh, this will stop, it will cease, and it will go away. Some of you may have to get, have a threat of a lawyer in place here to stop this person. Some of you are just saying no and shutting the door will be enough to stop it. I feel that for some of you, you had to go through a lot of steps, some of them legal already, to get through the muck and mire of people that were trying to tear you down or dethrone you or take things away from you or cause you problems. And I feel that you have gone through the steps and some of them it has been a lengthy legal process which has already occurred uh, to get through this. So, uh, and I feel that that is actually behind you. Even if anything resurfaces, like it's like here, I'm raising my ugly head again and now I want to start trouble with you. It's really a situation that's over and a done deal. If anybody wants to take anything from you, they are going to have to pursue legal action and it will not go in their favor. It's not going to be something that's going to come up and get turned against you. You've already been through this war, this battle, the steps, the legal process. Uh, some of you Leos are going to know who I'm talking to. I do not feel like this is going to come as a surprise to those of you that this is going to make sense. I feel that really you've been under the gun too much, under pressure and under fire. And for some of you Leos, this has gone on too long. I feel this month of February is really releasing all of that and getting past it and getting over it. So for some of you, the door is finally shut and it's done and over with in this month of February 2015 that if you are one of the Leos that went through all this process of 
trouble with other people and legalities and going through the legal system or just problems with people that may have seemed like they came at you one after the other and all these you know people coming at you or the situation just coming at you over and over again. I feel February is the closing of it and the releasing of it. So if somebody comes back into you in the month of February, just shut the door and tell them to be on their way. They're not going to get anywhere. It's over. It's done. So I really feel it's something that's actually behind you. If it resurfaces its head, it's just that resurfacing. Because, you know, Mercury does go into retrograde in January. I'm recording this in January for February. So you will be in retrograde uh, during this time that you watch this video. And a lot of times the past can return to the present in a retrograde, something that you thought was done or over with rears its head again. So it's just that. It's just rearing its head again. Just shut the door on it if it, uh, <clears throat> if it should occur during this retrograde phase. Now, in the card that you have for your um, angels, uh, healing with the angels card, the Doreen Virtues healing with the angels card, you have the card of children. Children showed up for you here. I feel that you now have a better understanding of people and situations going on around you. I do feel that you have a great deal of support that's coming to you from your family. This can be your children if you have children. This could just be family members showing you love and support. I feel a great deal of compassion coming to you from family members and or children feeling like you deserve better, like you deserve more and you you deserve to that maybe you were treated unfairly or things were unfair for you for years and that now you deserve better. I feel that for some of you Leos, you will be experiencing angels coming to you at night when you're asleep and maybe even showing up in your dreams to give you messages. I do feel that many of you Leos are going to be experiencing angelic presence in your life and around you in your waking world and in your sleeping world. So I hope this reading was of help to you Leos. I want to say thank you so much for liking my videos. Thank you for watching them. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for Google Plusing and for sharing them. I truly appreciate you. I want to say if you're interested in a private reading with me, please see my website, which is posted below this video and at the end of this video, which is www.theluckymermaid.com. And you go to my order page if you're interested in scheduling a reading. Click on the blue Schedule Now button. All the steps are on that page on how to order your reading. And go back to my order page and click on the Buy Now button. It will take you to PayPal. Make your payment on PayPal at the time you schedule your reading, please, because I cannot hold any unpaid appointments. I have a long waiting list. The calendar is booking out into July right now. So I know that is a long wait. Um, I'm hoping to open up some more times in the future. But for right now, it is booking into July. I want to say I hope you have a fantastic month of February, Leo. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.